first piece of news this week is for for tonight. A lot of news and leaks coming in about the next season of Fortnite, which is dropping on March 16th. Fortnite has decided to do something different than their usual end-of-season event. Uh, they usually have a special event for players before the new season announcement, which is basically like a big story uh, event with you know, something happening which changes the Fortnite map. Well, apparently this time they are planning on having a single player experience uh, starring Jonesy, but specifically Agent Jonesy, character that we saw in the previous Fortnite season near the end. He showed up at the start of this season as well, so we're going to be seeing Agent Jonesy and there's going to be some kind of single player story mission or content involving him. Apparently as soon as the new season of Fortnite begins, you'll be able to partake in this event. Uh, it's single player, so you can't play with anyone else. Kind of similar to the last Fortnite event with uh, Galactus, where essentially even though there were people nearby, it was mostly just you flying around and shooting things trying to get at Galactus. So it's going to be something probably like that, but with Jonesy. Now, I'm not going to go into any spoilers or things like that, but there are some official pieces of information about the next season of Fortnite. Apparently, Batman is going to play an important role in the next season of Fortnite, from what I've heard. Uh, Fortnite as kind of like a big collab with DC Comics. So, we got a season with Marvel Comics, the one before this current season, and it seems like the next one that's coming soon, March 16th, so just a few days, is going to be based on DC Comics Universe, DC Universe with Batman, and there is going to be an actual crossover with Batman in the comics, somehow ending up in Fortnite. And he will show up in game as well. Um, so who knows how that's going to work out. Wonder who this special secret Fortnite character for season six is going to be. Uh, apparently, there's going to be special skins, uh, like styles, for people that own Harley Quinn, Batman, or even um, Catwoman. So if you own any of those skins already, there's going to be apparently some new style options which you'll be able to unlock once that season is live. But uh, yeah, it's going to be kind of crazy. Apparently the end of the next season of Fortnite is going to have a big reveal about what the island of like Fortnite is actually about. Why there's kind of like a loop, what the zero point is, and all sorts of other things. So we're going to get answers. It sounds exciting and... There's going to be a lot of amazing content. Apparently, they plan on changing some areas on the map, but nothing's been confirmed yet. Uh, there are some leaks out there, but we're not getting into any of that stuff. Just the official Fortnite news, so I can't wait for all that. Next, we have some Minecraft news. Minecraft has been getting a lot of updates recently, both for, you know, graphics and new texture packs and things like that, but then actual in-game content, uh, wow, they're really, really supporting, um, you know, Bedrock version of Minecraft, so if you play Minecraft on PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, or PC, specifically the Windows 10 version, you have a lot of amazing updates to look forward to. Basically, uh, Microsoft announced a plan for the, you know, Minecraft uh, Windows or Bedrock versions to get a lot of updates this year, which will basically make the game look better, run better. Uh, they've updated Realms, so it has a lot more features now and just better support for it. So I'm definitely going to be jumping back on Minecraft soon, check out some of the new content and additions they put, and the fact that Realms is even better than ever is great because I play with other ASM artists on one at Realm, so it's just really, really awesome, so can't wait for that. Next, we got some Among Us news. Uh, Among Us, basically, recently, well, this past week, they've added a new update, just like a little small update, with a quick chat option. 
option and it makes games like faster to play and a little bit easier because now everybody can quickly talk to each other and it's kind of cool it adds like a new dynamic to the game where you don't have to wait until someone gets killed or found to actually chat and it was a little bit annoying that you had to call an emergency to chat to other people in the middle of doing a task like asteroids it would always happen to me playing among us i'd be doing a task and immediately get called in and then like the next round as soon as i'm going back to my task i get killed so stuff like that was a little bit annoying so this kind of fixes that and still no news on when the airship map for among us is dropping a lot of people are waiting hopefully it comes out soon um People have to understand that the developers for Among Us are a very small team of people and they're working very, very hard from home. So, yeah, it's definitely going to take some time. They're not a big development team like Fortnite or even Minecraft where hundreds, thousands of people are working on the game. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely going to take some time, but it's worth it. Next, we have some news for Fall Guys. So Fall Guys kind of teased and showed off their upcoming season update, which is going to be entirely based on like some neon futuristic cyberpunk theme. Very, very cool. Lots of bright colors. Lots of new mini games. Uh, this looks like it could be the best Fall Guys season so far. I feel like every season of Fall Guys gets better and better except for maybe the second season. I didn't really like that one. There were some really annoying mini games that came out in the second season, but third and fourth season look, looking really, really good. So I'm excited for Fall Guys. I'll definitely jump in, check out the new season for a video when it drops. Uh, let's see, what else do we got here? Uh, Microsoft came out this week and basically Microsoft has now officially acquired Bethesda. Yes, Bethesda, the game developer that makes Skyrim and Fallout games officially owned by Microsoft. So this was announced a while ago. It usually takes a bit for a merger or acquisition to take place. So it's not like immediate, but uh, yeah, apparently as of right now, it's complete. So Microsoft fully owns Bethesda, and they, you know, posted a video celebrating the history of Bethesda and how this partnership with Microsoft is going to be great, and then they put out a statement which has some Xbox and PlayStation fans a little on the edge, so if you own Xbox or PC at home, this is pretty good news for you. Apparently, there's going to be new exclusive titles which will be specifically made for xbox and pc so some bethesda games we don't know which but according to their announcement there's going to be exclusive games that are only going to be for xbox and pc so you know we don't know if this is the next you know elder scrolls game i doubt they'll make it exclusive but they could always do that maybe the next fallout game might be exclusive you never know but yeah apparently they do plan on making ex exclusive games, and they also said that they will be bringing games to multiple pl platforms and stuff like that. But uh, it's this part of the statement that made people a little bit worried, specifically Nintendo and PlayStation fans, because it seems like we might not be getting some future, you know, Bethesda-developed games. Microsoft might be making them exclusive, at least for like the first year of release or something, so we're gonna have to see how that goes. But uh, Bethesda, they make great games, so that's a little bit disappointing, but hey, I have PC, so I'll definitely be playing those on PC when they release. Uh, what else do we got here? Resident Evil uh, movie, like the next Resident Evil movie, it's going to be a reboot of the series. So a brand new reboot for Resident Evil movies, it's going to be starting from the first one. And apparently it's coming out in September of this year. And it's going to be loosely based on the events from Resident Evil 1 and 2. Uh, they released kind of like some uh, promotional image art of the movie. And it kind of looks like the box art for Resident Evil 4. I'll, re I'll post some on the video here for you guys to all check out. But looks pretty cool. I'll definitely be checking out this Resident Evil movie. Uh, I like the first Resident Evil movie that came out a long time ago. That 
was pretty good, and then the rest of them just kind of like went crazy in a different direction, but I did enjoy that first one, it was, it was okay. Uh, they announced a brand new 2D beat-em-up side-scrolling action game for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles this week called Shredder's Revenge, and when I say released, I mean they released like an announcement, the actual game is not out yet, but uh, this is amazing, this is basically like the first time in over 10 years where we're getting another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, like side-scrolling beat-em-up game. The last one was a remake of a Super Nintendo game, and that came out on the Xbox, like, Arcade and PlayStation 3 for a limited time. It was developed by Ubisoft, and then it was delisted because they lost uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles license. So this is kind of a big deal because it's made in, like, the old school Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles style. It's not following the modern design. So this looks awesome, this looks super cool, I definitely will be buying this, and playing this, maybe even on the channel, so if you like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, definitely check out the Shredder's Revenge trailer. Um, let's see, what else do we got here? Um, Rust is apparently going to be coming out sooner uh, than later, uh, apparently they are aiming for a launch this spring for the console version of Rust. So if you've been watching a lot of Let's Players or Twitch streamers, you know, enjoy Rust playing it with their friends and stuff like that, you'll be able to do the same thing on your console very, very soon. So yeah, apparently it's coming out this spring. I wonder how the like like the console versions of Rust are going to do compared to the actual like PC version. But uh, it should be pretty cool. So can't wait to see how that is when it releases. Um, the remaster of Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne, one of my favorite PlayStation 2 RPGs, is finally getting a Western release. It was announced a while ago, but uh, there's basically a ratings board in the U.S. called the ESRB. And when a game is usually about to be released, the ESRB will post a rating for this game. So they kind of leaked that an announcement is imminent by doing this. So we just got a rating for this game in the U.S. this past, like, week. So uh, this means that we could potentially see this get announced, like, in the next week, possibly. So I'm excited. Apparently there's some issues with this remaster. They kind of messed up some of the music and... It has some bugs or glitches, but I really hope they can fix that in time for the release and maybe put out an update. I'm very excited, though. I like these uh, Shin Megami Tensei games. Um, if you know Persona, if you know anything about the Persona games, it's basically all in the uh, same like development studio. They make Persona and Shin Megami Tensei, so if you know Persona, at least you know something about what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see what else. If you're a fan of the Tomb Raider games, a uh, leaked release came out for this game, so there is going to be a Tomb Raider Definitive Survivor Trilogy coming out on the 18th of March, so that's leaked news. Not supposed to come out, and now everybody knows. So yeah, you're going to be able to play all three Tomb Raider games. Uh, these are basically last-gen Tomb Raider games remastered higher quality graphics, but for modern systems, so kind of awesome. I did not play the third Tomb Raider game much, so maybe I'll pick up this uh, Definitive Survivor Trilogy and check it out on, you know, 18th of March is just about a week away, so uh, that's going to be awesome. Definitely, if you're a fan of Tomb Raider, you got to check it out. Uh, this is pretty cool news, apparently Blizzard... Uh, working on the Diablo 2 remaster, they found a way so that it could support old save files for the game. So Diablo 2 came out back in the early 2000s for PC, and at the time, it was like the biggest game ever, probably one of Blizzard's like biggest games before World of Warcraft. And maybe, maybe up there with Starcraft for them, I forget which one was more popular, definitely both of those games were big for them. But this game came out like about 20 years ago, and yet this remaster
processor for Diablo 2 that they're working on is going to support the old save files that you already had. So if you played Diablo 2 like 20 years ago and you still have your save file somewhere, you'll be able to actually use that save file in the remastered version of the game coming out soon. So that's kind of awesome. There's people that actually saved their save files and they're all like really happy right now. Uh, I'm, I've been reading some of the forums and people are like, I lost it or I have it still. That's so cool. So I think that's kind of a nice feature. You never hear about games like allowing you to keep your old save when you get a remaster like 20 years later. That just like never happens usually. And next we have the final piece of news, which is actually kind of nice, kind of wholesome. Um, the creators of the Ghost of Tsushima game, specifically like the two guys in charge, I think, so only the only like the two main creator guys, um, they have received an honor from the official like actual island that the game is based on. So these guys made Ghost of Tsushima, and the island actually made them actual ambassadors of the island and apparently they have been given like honorary status for the island for as long as they live even after they they've been like commemorated for the island for bringing kind of like cultural relevance and things like that to it so that is kind of awesome uh, apparently they're very like humbled by this and they're very very happy um that's just crazy imagine making a game about a location and once the game comes out and does very well the actual placed place that it's based off is like hey we're gonna give you guys an award you did really well like your honorary members of the island your um, ambassadors or something it's kind of cool so that's what happened and people are very excited both the fans of the game and the people on the development team have been you know sharing their congratulations with the creators so that's very awesome and yeah that is all the important video game news of this week so thank you all for listening for watching please be sure to like comment share and subscribe and i will see you all next time